Hey guys, we are back. Need to go speak to Lennon once more. <laughs> hey Gringo! Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like now this that. is our last mission with Landon. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. True story. Left me to die after I'd been shot. Well, now not so much. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. He did. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. You came back, sort of. No, that's how it goes. <laughs> you get shot on the train, and then you kind of came back like, what the hell, guys? Got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir, but Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. Let's head for Escalera. Hello, dog. Whatever you're ready, partner. I'm ready. Whoa there. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I'd politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived it. Look! It's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first wagon. Let's go! Run!
Oh, and I died. <clears throat> Honestly, I was hoping Landon would, you know, take out the back while I'm trying to you get him in the that front. Prison wagon. That must be them. Come on. Oh my gosh. Did I accidentally cancel the mission? I think I accidentally canceled the mission, guys. Yes, I did. Can I skip this part? <laughs> hey, Gringo! All right, here we go again. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Hold up. No point in killing those horses. What are you doing? Stick with me or don't ride with me at all. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. I've known wealth, respect, love, even fame. I never read a book or done a day's work. But I had everything a man could want. But now, now that I'm here, I don't know. Do you have a son? I do. Called Jack. Another stubborn and angry young fella. I think that's my only regret, not having children. I mean, I'm sure there's a few brothel boys out there with my blood in their veins, but not a real son. The Ricketts name will go to the grave with me. All I'll be leaving behind is another dead body. You can still be a father. Yeah. Look, it's an army convoy. I think I see the prison in those wagons. It's an army man. See if you can take control of that first wagon. Oh my gosh, I keep dying. I don't remember the health, like, being... that easy. Let's go! You see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. Come on! See if you can take control of them. I'm gonna do it that way, I guess. I need you to go. Also doesn't help that these horses are the worst kind of horses.
I'm going, Landon. We got the crappiest horses. guy went I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. After like 50 million tries, it's finally done. Alright. Then we'll talk to DeSanta. He's going to be our next one. I think I'll go... I think I'll leave it here, actually. I'll see you all in the next episode.